Yo, what's up? My name is Franco and today's a big day. Today I finally bring this channel to life. Today I can stop talking people's ears off about this YouTube channel I'm thinking about starting. I'm excited, I'm pumped, and I'm ready to go. First things first, I should probably explain who I am and why I'm doing this. Like I said before, my name is Franco and I work as a physical therapy tech in the Army. I teach my patients stretches and exercises as well as some hands-on treatments so they can get back to doing what they love to do just without as much pain. When I go home, I spend a lot of time at the desk behind me playing games and streaming on Twitch. I wanted a way to combine these two things, so here we are. My plan is to teach you some stretches and exercises that you can do to deal with pain or discomfort caused by sitting at a desk or on the couch playing games for a long period of time. But my goal is to make these stretches quick and easy, something you can do without interrupting what you've got going on. Later down the road, I'd love to bring you videos that are centered around this idea of health and gaming, like reviews on things such as gaming chairs or desks, or information on things like energy drinks, mobility tools, ergonomics, I have a bunch of ideas. What I'm not here to do is harp on how you should be doing this or that or make you feel bad about what you've been doing up to this point. I really love the quote, perfection is the enemy of progress. Just because you don't perfect every little fault that you have right now doesn't mean that you can't try to change one thing today. A step forward is better than standing still with this mindset that there's too many things to change or that there's no point. You're not perfect and I'm not perfect. Most of the time we just do what we want or makes us happy until we can't do it anymore. But if you've reached that point or you wanna learn some things that might prevent you from reaching that point, then I'm your guy. Now, you may be asking yourself at this point, will doing stretches or exercises for neck pain or back pain or whatever you have going on in your life make you better at gaming? No, no, that's not what I'm doing here. Please don't think that I'm saying that uh, this is gonna make you a professional gamer. I don't know, just play more or hire a coach or something. I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes I suck too. But should you have to deal with pain while you're sitting at a desk or on a couch or, or just playing video games? No, I don't think so. It's not that serious. So let's figure this out. Okay, to start this off, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Here, come closer. Just about everybody's back hurts. In fact, 80% of people at some point in their lives will have back pain. That's insane, but also very believable. And to make the issue more difficult, there are so many reasons why your back might hurt. If you ask someone who sits all day, it's because they sit. If you ask someone who stands all day, it's because they're standing. As gamers, uh, let's be honest, we don't really sit with the best posture sometimes, or when you're really focused on something, you're not paying attention to something like that until it starts to hurt. If you go to a doctor, they'll probably give you an X-ray or an MRI. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like you have a herniated disc at L3, slight case of spondylolisthesis. <laughs> Obviously you have scoliosis, somehow you're missing these bones here, here, and here, I think I've seen a healthier spine in a jellyfish. The crazy thing about it is, you could have had those issues before you ever felt any back pain at all. Those issues don't always equal back pain, but the reality of it is, regardless of how you have the back pain, you've got it, it sucks, and you're tired of it. That's why you're here, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Now you can do these stretches when your back starts to hurt or when it's starting to get tight, or if you want, you can do it before you feel anything at all. If you wanna do your best to kind of avoid these issues altogether, there's really no wrong time to do it, so long as you listen to your body. Which brings me to pain. Some of these stretches might hurt a little bit, and that's okay. There's so much that can be said about pain that I'll probably make a dedicated video about it at some point. But for our purposes, I'll just say this. If you do something and it kind of hurts, but that pain goes away in about 30 seconds to a minute, that's okay. That's fine, that's pain that you should probably push through. But if you do something and it hurts into the next day or after an hour after you stop, then that's not okay, you're doing something wrong, please stop. Stretching just kind of hurts sometimes, but we're not here to make it worse. There's no magic number to how long someone should hold a stretch. For some people, 10 seconds is enough. It feels intense, they get a good stretch out of it. For others, much longer works for them. In general, we kind of try to tell people to hold a stretch for 30 seconds to a minute to get the full effect, but if you're that 10 second person, that's fine. It just gives you something to work towards. Now I'm gonna start at the top of the back and I'm gonna work my way down. This one's gonna be helpful for your mid back, but you might also feel it in your shoulders. Normally it's done on the ground or on a bed, but for our purposes, I'm gonna show you how to do it at a desk or sitting on a couch. To begin, Sit up nice and straight. You can put your hands on your knees, on the table, on your chair, it doesn't really matter. The first thing you wanna do is arch your back almost like you're trying to push your chest out. Hold this position until you feel like you've had enough and then alternate to the second position, which is gonna be more like a curled back, almost like you're trying to make a C with your spine. 
Think about drawing your stomach towards your spine and that's gonna help you form that C a little bit better. After holding this position for a few seconds, go ahead and alternate between the two. This stretch is helpful because it helps you find a good neutral position for good posture, right? So if you find that extreme forward position and that extreme back position, somewhere in the middle is where you're probably gonna wanna be to maintain good posture, whether you're sitting or standing. All right, so this one is helpful for the muscles in between your shoulders, but you may also feel it in your neck. To begin, bring your hands together and extend your arms forward. Once you get to this end position, keep going with your shoulders, almost like you're trying to pull your shoulders out of socket. So once you reach this extended position and you can't go any further, and it kind of looks like you're holding a barrel in between your arms, what you want to do is lower your head into the circle that you've created with your arms. You can slowly lower your head until you feel a nice pull in your neck and also in your shoulders. Like I said before, this will help you loosen up those muscles that are in between your shoulders and your mid to upper back. If you have pain and tightness in your mid to lower back, this next one is gonna help out a lot. To start it off, you're gonna lift one leg over the other, almost like you're crossing your legs to sit down. You're gonna twist your body in the direction of the leg that's up and over. You can hold onto your chair, your couch, or your desk to kind of stabilize and help you do this. Make sure to push gently into this stretch because it can feel kind of intense if you go too hard. If you want more intensity, then what you can do is bring one elbow on the outside of your knee, and that's gonna give you the leverage that you need to really crank that mid spine to get that end range stretch. Once you've held it for a little while, go ahead and bring your legs back to the starting position and then move on to the other side if you want. If you can't bring one leg over the other for whatever reason, go ahead and keep your feet flat on the ground and do the stretch the same way. Now I know I said that we were working on our back, but sometimes you don't wanna focus on just the area that you have pain. Sometimes working above or below may kind of loosen up some muscles that are keeping the midsection tight. So if we have back pain, sometimes we look to our neck or sometimes we look below that. So the next thing that we're gonna do is gonna be a hamstring stretch. There's a lot of studies that have connected tight hamstrings with back pain. So it's not a bad idea to stretch them every once in a while. This stretch is really easy to do while seated on a computer chair or on a couch. The first thing that you wanna do is extend your leg, making sure that your knee stays locked and the entire leg is straight. From here, you just wanna lean forward, hinging at your hips, making sure that your back stays straight. This stretch doesn't take much to really feel intense, so go slowly and feel it out first. When you finish with one side, go ahead and bring your leg back and just do it on the other side as well. This last one is one of my favorites and I do it all the time. If you've ever had a burning sensation that goes down your legs, or if you have lower back pain that also shoots down your legs, that's called sciatica. And it's caused by your sciatic nerve being pinched. Most times it's pinched underneath another muscle called the piriformis. This stretch is gonna allow us to stretch that muscle and hopefully get rid of some of that annoying nerve pain. Start this stretch by putting your legs in a figure four position, almost like you're sitting somewhere and waiting with your leg on top of the other. Once you're in this position, you're gonna lean forward by hinging at your hips, but trying to keep your back straight. As you lean forward, you're gonna feel the stretch in that bent leg, and you should feel it pretty quickly. If you don't, or if you want it to be more intense, what you can do is actually push down on that knee that's bent. Once you finish this, just like the other ones, return to the start, do it on the other side as well. Now I'm not saying that sciatica is always caused by a tight piriformis, but it's pretty common and it doesn't hurt to stretch it out every once in a while. Whether you're here dealing with an existing pain or just looking to prevent future problems, the important thing is that you're doing something to better yourself and that's amazing. It's my goal to continue making these videos for different parts of the body, so if you're extra broken, you have problems with your neck or your shoulders or your hands, I've got you covered. Now, I'm not gonna beg you to like and subscribe, but if you did find this video useful, consider sending it to a friend who might be dealing with back pain. Unless you get some sort of sick pleasure out of knowing that they're suffering, in that case, I guess keep it to yourself, but just know, I'll be silently judging you. If you want to see more of me and what I do, head over to Twitch where I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I usually play a variety of games and it's a pretty good time. I want to do my part to support all of you, so if you send me a clip of you doing a stretch that you find helpful, I'll throw it at the end of one of my videos. More info on how to submit that in the description down below. And that's all I've got. Until next time. Later. Did you minimize the screen because you're scared? <laughs> ah!